Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we try to house anywhere from 60 to 70 vehicles at any, any given time, uh, all of which we own. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, it's hanksters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up at all times between both of our showrooms, so uh, they never come down whether they were shot a day ago or three years ago. However, on our website, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of the website, letting you know it's no longer available and it drops into the sold category. Check us out on Instagram. Uh, you're gonna get a little sneak peek of what's to come, uh, as well as other automotive related material from our Daytona Beach showroom. 1988 Chevrolet C1500. Uh, the pickup truck market, <coughs> Uh, Blazer market, Bronco market, uh, these big body trucks and SUVs, they're all extremely hot right now. And this one's kind of a unique uh, truck and it's kind of a, an awesome uh, piece and we're going to show you that right now. Uh, you do have power brakes on this truck and of course power steering and air conditioning. Uh, we have a 350 motor. The mileage on the title is exempt. <coughs> uh, and what that means is, you know, true mileage unknown. Uh, newer paint job on the truck. Uh, you got like a, I don't know, you call it like maybe a bronzish or a pewter color up top. And then of course the black on the sides. Uh, black front bumper with the blacked out grill and the blacked out Chevy logo gives it kind of a cool look up front. D definitely a very unique truck. Um, walking around the sides, you have your five star, I believe those are Riddlers. Nope, Boss. Five star Boss Mag wheels. Um, beautiful black paint down the side of the truck. Uh, really uh, nice looking paint job on the vehicle. Window glass on the truck all the way around is in fantastic shape. You have dual uh, mirrors that are painted the same uh, pewter color or bronze color as the top of the truck. Really nice looking paint job on the vehicle. Um, door gaps are great on both the uh, driver's front to the fender and the driver's rear to the, uh, you know, the, the back of the cab there. Opening up the driver's door, you'll be able to see somebody has put some newer, um, I don't know if they're you know, out of a Silverado or, or what they're out of, but uh, newer style seats. You have bucket seats, uh, dual captain's chairs there. Um, headliner's in good shape. Uh, sun visors are in good shape. The dome light illuminates when you open up the door. Uh, your uh, interior there is not, it's like that, uh, you know, uh, truck material um, that you know that vinyl or whatever that you can just kind of hose out when it gets dirty it's not carpeting um, rubber black floor mats um, I'll show you underneath the floor mats it's just you know it's in good shape it looks like somebody put a uh, the material that they put in there is newer I would guess you know venture to say within a couple of years or so um, the dash is all in good shape it's not cracked up or uh, sun faded or uh, all dried out or anything like that. We'll give you a closer look at that when we do the test drive presentation. Uh, the armrest on the uh, driver's side door here is in good condition. That's like a vinyl material. Plastic uh, lower and then of course down at the bottom carpeting. Power windows, power door locks, we'll uh, show you those on the uh, test drive presentation. Step side pickup truck. Um, the bed's in great shape, uh, both inside and out. The uh, wheels appear to be newer too. You'll get to look at those in the still photos. You'll be able to see that you know they're not pitted, um, they're not curb rashed, they're in, they're in good condition. Um, taking a look into the bed, it's like that Rhino liner material. Um, bed's in nice condition. It is a smaller bed due to the uh, flare side, step side. Uh, you have your sliding rear window there. No uh, back bumper, somebody has removed that and made kind of a cool uh, sleek look with the uh, you know blacked out, no, no chrome bumper in the back, just a blacked out uh, bumper there. Tailgate operation will show you very simply, up and down, right? But you know, inside the bed there, um, next to the uh, you know, tail lights and inside down here, like the bottom of the tailgate where these things have a tendency to rust, there's no rust, it's nice and clean uh, inside of there. Got some uh, faded out or blacked out uh, rear tail lights as well, which gives the truck a nice cool look. Um, so the top of the bed rail is painted that same like pewter color. 
um, as the top of the cab and of course the hood. And then again, down the passenger side, you got your uh, black there, uh, radial tires on the truck. Again, uh, passenger side rear wheels in the same condition as the rest of them. You'll again be able to see those in the still photos. Take a look in the passenger side of the truck. The door panel's in nice shape, a uh, nice armrest, uh, nice plastic down here. It's not all cracked or anything. Um, and of course, your carpeting down below there. Uh, the door panels, it looks like there's holes there because it was probably a crank window truck at one time and somebody probably put, you know, some different uh, door setups in there uh, to be power windows, you know, power door locks. does have a uh, aftermarket stereo in there. We will check that out on the test drive as well, see if that uh, is functioning. Again, the uh, door gap here on the passenger side front and the passenger side rear, both are good. Uh, the doors line up nice and flush to the uh, back of the cab and, of course, the front fender. Great looking truck. This thing will be offered at a very reasonable price point um, and being how these uh, Middle 80s, late 80s, early 90s pickup trucks have been uh, going in our showroom in terms of popularity and desirability. I, I, I can't imagine this truck will be around long. It's got a really cool look to it with the wheels and the paint and um, everything else. Got a lot going for it. Power steering, power brakes, air, of course, the uh, cool captain's chairs on the inside. So without further ado, let's take it out on the rack and throw it in the air and check out what the undercarriage of this fine 1988 Chevy stepside pickup looks like. Underneath our 1988 Chevrolet pickup truck. Uh, disc brakes in the front. I mentioned earlier in the showroom that we had a 350 motor. Uh, looking up at that, it appears nice and dry. You can see a little bit there of not only the side of the uh, block, but also the uh, oil pan there. And the starter on the other side and the oil pan on the other side. Looks, looks good and nice and dry from what I can see. Um, tranny pan staring you right in the face. That's nice and dry. Uh, dual headers coming down to uh, Flowmaster mufflers. Frame rails on the truck are excellent. Cross member on the truck is in good shape. Uh, you're looking at the back of the rockers there. Those are in good condition. Uh, gas tank, plastic, plastic covering, and the tank itself is metal. It's up there, it's in good shape. Um, rear leaf springs look to be good. Bottom of the bed, check it out, nice and solid underneath there. The rear frame rails look to be in good shape. Inside of the uh, rear quarters there, those are in good condition as well. Great looking truck underneath. Um, you know, we stand underneath each one of our trucks, uh, underneath each one of our cars, and we do these video presentations, and we show you guys that, you know, the rear end's not leaking, or the oil pan's not leaking, or the tranny pan's not leaking. But uh, if you've never purchased a classic car before, you are going to have leaks from time to time, whether it's engine, transmission, power steering. Um, they aren't precision like the new cars are. Um, they were, you know, a lot of them leaked when they were new. and. Um, you know, as these motors and transmissions and whatnot have been rebuilt over time, um, you know, seals, gaskets, O-rings, so on and so forth, have a tendency to uh, to dry out and to crack, and and will develop leaks in them. Um, so, with that being said, I encourage all of you to come in person and see what you are buying yourself. Um, you can test drive any truck or any car that you might be interested in. We can take it out in the sunshine for you. You can check out what it looks like underneath. Um, Check out the interior, pop the hood, take a look at the, uh, you know, in this case, the bed of the truck, but, you know, in the trunk, wh whatever you're looking at. Um, nobody's a better judge of what you're spending your money on than you. So that's why we encourage you guys to come in person. With that being said, we do a lot of business sight unseen. Um, we take a lot of photographs. We take a lot of video. Um, so we do a pretty good job of representing our vehicles honestly and accurately. Um, Financing. Yep, this 1988 Chevrolet pickup truck does qualify for financing. The collector car lenders will do up to a 10-year uh, term on these cars. Uh, the price point of this particular truck will be, you know, not so much that they'll do 
10 years, but they'll do five to seven on it. 10% uh, down payment and then the uh, rest of the balance uh, over the five, six, seven year, whatever term you might get approved for. So it uh, makes it affordable. And uh, what's nice about owning one of these things is they're holding their value. They're holding it steady. They're not going to um, depreciate. So uh, unlike a new car that you go spend $70,000 for a pickup truck or a, a car, you know, and it has that immediate depreciation in the first year or two, um, this one, not so much. These things are holding steady and actually, in most cases, increasing in value. So um, that's a great thing. It makes it fun uh, to own a classic, and then it also makes it fun to uh, turn around and sell it in two or three years and not take a hit to your wallet or your bank account. So let's set this uh, truck down on the ground, take it out for a drive, and show you how it runs out. But one more thing I would like to mention before we take this uh, truck out on a test drive. Um, typically what we do here when we get... Uh, cars and trucks uh, that don't have exhaust pipes. Um, these are cut off right after the mufflers. What we do is we put exhaust pipes on them. Uh, this truck has a particular throaty sound to it uh, and maybe the person that did the uh, exhaust and did the paint on the truck didn't want pipes coming out below that cool looking bumper or out the sides. I don't know what the reasoning is, but um, we're gonna leave it like it is because it's got kind of a cool sound and truck guys kind of sometimes like that, but if you want pipes put on it, that's no problem. We have the uh, ability to do so and that can definitely be added as part of the deal. So um, we're gonna leave it like it is for now. And like I said, if you guys say, I really wanna have pipes on it, I don't want it to be loud. Um, I, I wanna want it quieted down. Um, it's a brand new exhaust system. So all the exhaust is fantastic. It's a Flowmaster system. It's a not only an expensive system, but a high quality system. So you guys decide hey I want some tailpipes out the back or out the sides that's no problem we can certainly do that as part of the deal so let's go drive it okay inside of our 88 uh, Chevy 1500 here tilt wheel uh, there is no horn it's an aftermarket steering wheel so we're gonna go ahead and put a button in here in the dash somewhere turn signals are functioning driver's side passenger side Temperature gauge is coming up. We just started the truck. Half tank of fuel. Battery voltage reading. Oil pressure's good. 244478 is the number on the odometer. We do not have any kind of mileage history on this vehicle. The title reads exempt or true mileage unknown. TAC. It's functioning. I have the AC on right now. It is about 80 degrees in Florida today. It's blowing cold. I don't know if you guys can hear that fan, but I assure you that the AC is working. And to prove it, we're going to do the uh, test drive video with the windows up. Because if it didn't work, we'd pass out. Um, wipers. Uh, functioning. Radio. Radio works as well. Um, power seats. Forward, reverse, back and forward. Lumbar works, can't show you that. Power door locks, just gonna have to listen for that. Power windows. So far so good, right? I mentioned earlier in the showroom, you got your uh, rear window here that slides open if you want to. Rear view mirror looks like it's in good shape. I mentioned to you the dash is all good. See, nothing cracked up there. Uh, speaker grills popped out a little bit over here, but you know, glove compartment's in good shape. Dash pad's in good shape. Steering wheel's in nice condition. Good stuff. Let's drive it. We're on a drive in our 88 uh, 1500. Response in the steering is fantastic. All the gauges are functioning as they should. Speedometer's right on the money. Truck has good acceleration. Truck has a uh, nice exhaust on it. It's like, it's got a throaty sound to it. It's kind of nice. It gives it a nice little rumble, but nothing excessive. Air is blowing ice cold. Let go of the steering wheel. The car tracks nice, the truck, I should say, tracks nice and straight. No pulling the one side or the other. These full-size uh, Chevy pickups and full-size K-Blazers, they've always had such a nice ride to them, and this one's no different. I mean, it 
Ride's absolutely fantastic. Coming to a traffic light here, well, just turn green, but anyways, you can see the brakes stop just like they should, not pulling to one side or the other when I'm braking. You can see we're at a stop and accelerate again. Truck track's perfect. Nice looking truck, nice sounding truck. Ice cold air, working radio, tinted windows. Great paint job. I'm gonna pop a Yui here. It's a great truck. You know, trucks are so popular right now. All these newer trucks that are selling. But what's nice about these trucks you know, these uh, mid 80s, late 80s, early 90s, they got a good look to them and they're holding their value and they're coming up in both uh, price and desirability. So if you buy one and you want to hang on to it for two or three years, you get bored with it and you want to trade it out for something else, you'll probably get as much money out of it or, or maybe even a little more if you do some improvements to it, make it your own in a way. Um, and you know, the market's really strong right now and I don't see it weakening anytime soon. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. We are going to put at least 80 still photos of this truck up today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. We'll also have a complete description. There is a number of ways to contact us through our website. You can um, make an offer. We are open to offers. You can text us. You can send us an email. You can call us. Uh, there's a number of different ways, like I said, to get a hold of us. I mentioned make offer. Uh, yes, you can make an offer on a truck. Um, however, at full retail price, it, it, it does include shipping and a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty. If we negotiate the price of the truck, we also negotiate the price of the shipping and the price of the warranty. So, um, and if you, of course you pick it up, you trailer it home, you drive it home for here in Florida, whatever, obviously we don't, we don't need shipping. So we would love to earn your business. We would love to add you to our growing customer base uh, throughout the United States and throughout the world. So check us out. We are Hangsters Hot Rods, hangsters.com. We are located in beautiful, sunny Daytona Beach, Florida.